please. Been back since I had a dentist appointment. I think that was in like August. So I'm happy to be back, though. It feels, it feels good to be here. After last night, was there any conversation at all about trying to play? Nah, it's no back to back, so I couldn't play. No I was even trying to get in the game some more last night, but they wasn't letting me. So um, I wish I could play, but it's all good. There's, a, there's another time I'll be able to play. How did your body respond to the game last night? I'm, I'm all right for the most part. I'm a little sore, though. Like my, my body's a little sore from, from really being able to compete for the first time in seven, eight months and be getting hit, fall on the ground, and, and all those types of things. But it's not as sore as I thought it was going to be, so I'm, I'm pretty good for today. How does reality of walking back into this building meet up with how you pictured it? I almost walked that way in, in their <laughs> locker room. Now nah, it's... Um, I mean, I, I love this city. I love this organization. This is, they've given me the opportunity to be who I always wanted to be, and I, I can't thank them enough. So there's no hard feelings to, to anybody in this city or anybody in this organization. And I, I'm, I'm glad I'm back. Uh, like I always said, it's, it's genuine love, and that's, that's for the rest of my life here. So. Does it make it a little easier that you are able to play and have major return on the court? I think so. I think if I was able to play after the trade, it wouldn't have been as crazy as it was. Um, just being having to be able to sit down for four or five months after the trade, it was tough for me seeing everybody else play and not being able to be out there to compete with, with any type of team. So to get that under my belt last night was like one of the best days of my life. I felt like a basketball player again. I felt like I was, I was somebody again. How worried were you with the injury? Um, I was a little worried, but not like career ending and worried. I just didn't know when I was going to be able to play. Um, my injury was, was, was complicated because I had to let the body heal itself. And it could have been quick or it could have been long, and they told me that from the jump. So I'm, I'm just happy I'm, I'm back out playing and, and slowly getting to the process of playing it every night and playing a lot of minutes. So. A lot of memories a made here at TD Garden. Is there one that sticks out to you the most? 53 points on my sister's birthday. That was probably the most special moment I've had here. And it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of great moments in Boston, though. Like, my career skyrocketed here. And like I always say, they gave me the, the, the biggest opportunity I've ever gotten. And, and I can't thank them enough. So I'm, that was probably the biggest moment because it was just the toughest time of my life, but also one of the best games I've ever played. So. There's a bit of a fuss over the fact that you did not want a video tribute tonight. You want it when they come back. But Pierce's number's going to be okay. What do you make of that fuss? That's Pierce's night. But like, the, the, the video tribute ain't the whole night. I, I just wanted my family to be here to see it. That's what it came down to. I wanted to be able to play, and I wanted my family to experience the love and appreciation this city and this organization was going to give me on that night. And when my representatives reached out to these guys, they didn't. They they were all for it, and they they um they agreed on it. So I mean, I, I know people. I don't know why they're so mad about it. It's, I'm not taking nothing from Paul Pierce. He did. 15 years here, so there's nothing I can take from him. But if they choose to do it that night, that would be great, and I'll be honored. And my family and my friends can see how much they appreciate me. Isaiah, what are you expecting from the fans tonight? Love. I mean, that's all it was when I was here. I mean, I didn't, I didn't ever say nothing bad about the city or the organization. So I, I expect them to just show genuine love and. And I'm, I'm happy to be back, though. Like, this, is, this is a special moment for me. I, I just wish I could play. What part are you hoping that your first game is back? Like, nah. <laughs> like, I, I was out for seven months. There's no <laughs> way I was going to come back against Boston and play 17 minutes. Like, it's, it's too big of an a, a, a opportunity to just play against my former teammates, my former coaches, the, the city that gave me my, my, my biggest opportunity. So there was no, like, I always wanted to play in this game, but I thought I would be back a little sooner to be able to play. But once we figured out a date that I was going to play, I knew there was a, a small chance for me not playing.
Big chance for that. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like now that the dust has settled, the bite of the trade doesn't sting you as much as before. It only stung me when it happened. It just, I always say, people always brought the trade up. I didn't ever want to always talk about it. And, and I always said if I was able to play when it did happen, I don't think the trade would be talked about as much as it was. So now that I'm back playing, you know, I got something else to write about. <laughs> All the tedious rehabs, is it not worth it? Or the medical staff kept it grounded and patient for some way to be responded last night? I mean, it, the whole process has always been worth it because I just wanted to get back to playing basketball. Did I like the process? No. I, I hated sitting out. I hated having to be patient, but I mean, that's just what it was. I couldn't control that. And then once I was able to do more and um, be more acclimated with the team and, and get out there and even start warming up with the team, I knew that day was closer to me playing. And yesterday was was one of the most special moments for me in my career because I've, I've never had to sit out for seven to eight months and not know when I was going to play again. How close did you get to where you wanted to be and how close did your game? Far away, both. far away, both. I mean, the hip has gotten a lot better, but it's still movements that I'm scared to do. But like, it's just because I've been out for so long. I, mean, I don't, for the most part, when you get hurt, the mental side of things is the toughest part. So my wind isn't there. I'm not in that good of a shape. Um, obviously my game isn't where I want it to be, but it showed it showed a positive, positive step in the right direction yesterday that I'm not far where I want to be. I, I want to be an MVP one day, so I know anybody who takes seven months off isn't just going to walk into being that. And I got a lot of work to do, but I'm I'm happy about the progress, and I'm happy about everything that, that happened yesterday. I was saying, how, how much do you watch? Career, so. But after this, after this, you got stung. Did you say to yourself, "Here, I'm going to play with my dad, and here's the opportunity to win a title." I mean, it hurt being traded. I mean, it hurts no matter what team you get traded from. But once, I mean, when I knew I got traded to Cleveland, it was like, it's, it's an even bigger opportunity for me. A bigger platform, playing with arguably the best player in the world. Um, realistically, being able to compete for an NBA championship is something I always wanted to do. So when that opportunity came, I just had to, I just had to take it and run with it. And I'm glad I'm back and able to put my talents and help this team in any way possible. Dave, last one. Uh, how much do you watch the Celtics this year, and how do you compare them to the team you played for last year? I watch them a lot. I like how they play. I love Brad Stevens. I love Marcus Smart, even though he flops all the time. <laughs> I love Terry Rozier. I love the coaching staff. Like I said, there's no hard feelings. Only hard feeling is Danny didn't send me no Christmas cards this year. So. <laughs> you send him one? Nah, but he sent me the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> he could have found my address somehow. All right, thanks, thanks, everybody. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you, guys. Yeah, how about the